what's going on everybody I know you can barely see me some nighttime driving I just really quickly wanted to address why I think that Daryl is probably the next person to go on Walking Dead the uh, the premiere is coming tonight and um, I've been telling a lot of people that I think it's gonna go and people don't believe me so let me just really briefly go over what I think the uh, compelling argument is so I mean, first of all, I don't really read the books. Um, I'm not really up on the comics. I just kind of follow the show. I know briefly who kind of lives and dies in the comics, and I know that Daryl is a character that was made just for the show. Um, that being said, uh, his character pretty much has already gone through, like, you know, the whole story arc of, and character development. I mean, when he started off, he was, like, you know, the bad boy loose cannon he had like anger issues and he wasn't really like down with the crew and the whole thing with merle and then you know over time he started softening up and then you know he got cool with carol and then uh him and carol kind of developed together and then uh, you know so we saw him develop and then you know his hair grew and then he changed his whole look and he wasn't as angry as he used to be and then uh you know so then merle comes back and then we learn a bit about his backstory the whole thing happens with merle um so they closed that whole story arc and then he had that little thing with Beth, you know, and then we saw him cry and, you know, his, his, uh, his demons came out, so to speak. So then at that point, it's like he did everything he really could do as a character, you know? Um, and then for the last season, season and a half, really since the whole Beth thing. And then, you know, when he flipped out after she got killed and then he killed the lady in the hospital. He hasn't really done anything. I mean, he's 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 ride or die with Rick, and and he's always down with the crew. But like, what has he really been contributing? He's just kind of been like, he barely has any dialogue anymore. He's just kind of there, like hanging in the background. You know, all the writers are focusing on all these other characters, and, and they're developing like uh, Abraham and uh, Sasha and Morgan. And Morgan's the man right now, so he's he definitely took the spotlight. And that was just kind of there, like yeah, he's just you know he's the bad boy in the motorcycle and. You know, before this season, uh, the previous season, mid uh, finale, whatever, and then um, the whole thing with the motorcycle, and he met those two people in the woods, and now, uh, if I remember correctly, now he's gonna pursue them. But you know, like based on what's happening with other characters, like Carol is, is safe for now. I think I, I'm pretty sure. Like they keep adding to her character and making her more badass. Uh, Morgan's safe. I mean, they gave Morgan a whole hour and a half movie to himself just to develop him. So Morgan's good. Um, the preacher can go. Sasha can go. I think. You know, I like her as a character, but she, I mean, she's not really contributing much. Uh, Abraham's girlfriend, maybe. Uh, Abe's the man. A lot of people like him, so I think he's safe. But Daryl, you know, I, it's going to be controversial if he goes, but I wouldn't put it past him. I honestly, seriously think he might go sometime this season because. You know, a lot of people who follow the books are saying, like, nah, somebody else is going to go. And they haven't told me who it is, but they're like, once they introduce Negan, shit's going to change. But, you know, they haven't really been following the books like that. So, you know, if that all goes, you know, just say you heard it here first, man. I'm pretty sure he's done. That's all I got to say about that. Have a good night, people.